In today's video, we are going to define the difference between down and feather. Although both down and feather are found in virtually all birds, there is a difference between feather and down. Feather has a very defined and distinct quill, whereas down uh, does have a quill, but it's uh, at times almost undetectable. And the quill is what attaches the you know, the, the down cluster or the feather to the actual bird. Now, the down of waterfowl is what's ostensibly used for things such as jackets, mittens and gloves, and certainly uh, sleeping pillows and down comforters. Separating or sorting down from feather is not a real scientific process. Here's how it's done. Both feather and down are loaded into a large chamber. At the bottom of that chamber, there are air jets. They're turned on and the down and the feather, you know, uh, float around and mix in that chamber. Then the air is shut off and the feather, because it is, again, heavier or more structured, falls to the bottom of that chamber first. And then the down floats, you know, to the top. And then they're, they're sorted and separated or scooped off accordingly. Because feather is much more structured uh, and denser, it's heavier and it produces a much firmer pillow than a, a, a down pillow. Because down is very unstructured, it's soft, very malleable, it produces a softer pillow. And then there's um, combinations. So there's feather and down combinations, and depending upon the mix uh, is, you know, the determinant and the amount of ounces is the determinant of the firmness of the pillow. Now, some people like uh, firm pillows, some people like soft pillows, and then some people like pillows that are in the middle. And I think it's safe to say that down and feather are probably the most popular sought after sleeping pillow. And the reason is, one, they both provide uh, excellent neck and head support. But in addition to that, uh, they don't clump up, uh, you know, like some th synthetic pillows will. So they're always kind of free flowing and all you need to do is punch them up and they don't bunch up at all. Now, there is no right and wrong uh, with regard to, you know, uh, uh, a pillow's firmness. Again, some people like soft ones, some people like firm ones. It's a personal preference. Now, feather, on the other hand, is not used in good down comforters. And the reason is, it's it would be too heavy. Most pe people don't, you know, like a lot of weight on them. And the down, uh, because, again, it's unstructured, it traps a lot of air and it provides wonderful insulation. It's got an incredible warmth to weight ratio. Well, I hope this answers your questions uh, relative to the differences between uh, the down and the feather. And as always, if you have any questions, give us a call, send us an email. We're happy to assist. Thank you.